Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic, epic Bakugan Legends unboxing. So we've got this, man. It is one of the, basically the big packs for this season. So it's called the Legends Collection Pack. So with these packs, they feature a Nova Bakugan, an Ultra, a Geogon, and a Core Bakugan, which I think is really, really cool going across all the different spectrums of things. And they have a major opportunity for this, like, especially even with the Ultras. Put in some, like, older Ultras, like, Webum, like, you know, Pyrus Webum, Arlis Webum, like, other molds that they did in the past. Like, they could easily fill that spot with that. They have a lot of potential with these packs, honestly. Like, even older uh, Bakugan, because this is, like, the Armored Alliance mold of Drago that we're seeing here. So why not use some of the Season 1 ones? That would be amazing, man. Make it a true melting pot. Seeing some more Geogon, uh, some Core Bakugan with this, and then also Nova Bakugan. Really, really diverse with these packs. But we got Auxilator. It looks like Darkest Auxilator, Ventus Talon. Uh, Ventus, Neo, Pegatrix, and Aquas, Drago, Ultra, and Baku gear included as well. So they're going across the entire uh, realm with this, which I think is really, really dope, man. We got the artwork for Pegatrix as well as Drago right there looking sick. And then you got Auxilitar looking sick and darkest. And then <laughs> look at Talon just peeking his head over there. That's freaking awesome, man. But uh, yeah, so anyways, you got to check out the back. Shows them all off. Auxilitar, Talon, uh, Nova Pegatrix, Drago, Ultra. And then it comes with, uh, you know, the cards, uh, character cards, gate card, and all the cores. So like I said, with the standard Nova packs, they don't include the cores. But these do feature the cores. They just probably cut costs for just the, like, the regular Novas by themselves. But the Bakugan Battle League, there's the QR code for it. And yeah, man. But without further ado, let's get into it. And I'm probably going to rep it. I don't know. It's my first uh, Legends unboxing. Well, Legends uh collection pack unboxing this is the first one i managed to uh find and i found this baku bay hunting if you're wondering i found it baku bay hunting and um yeah boom like that and then get into all the cards and everything was just yeeted look at the inside art that's dope it's a core design i don't know i might i'm gonna hold on oh, is that could be sick for some like decorating but yeah man so i gotta get everything out onto there if I can. Alright, got Drago. And then, let's see. Talon. If I, if I can anyways. Da, 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 da. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Got Talon. There's one on the tail too. The tail end of Talon. Huh. All right, boom. And then Auxilitar. Awesome seeing it back, man. I like Auxilitar's design a lot. Uh, then we got Nova Pegatrix and Ventus right there. And then the Baku gear, which also even have the plastic strips. Of course they do. But boom. Boom. Uh, yeah, you don't actually have to add the Baku gear when you're making a profile. You know, keep that in mind. The Geogon, you do. And the Nanogon, you don't. But the Geogon, the only ones you have to have, you know, besides the Bakugan, when making a profile. Just keep that in mind. The others are more for, like, aesthetic if you want to. But, yeah, so, I guess getting into it. Uh, we'll get into Drago with uh, the gear first. But before that, we got to get into all the, the cards and such with this bad boy. So, let's see. Boom. Um, I don't know if... Uh, no, I guess it doesn't come with a collection sheet, and I just kind of ripped it on accident. Oh, well. Whoops. <laughs> that wasn't the cards, I promise. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. So, we got the uh, the gate cards up in here, the Viperagon one, so, so, so Ventus is getting the biggest boost with this, and then if your background gets a bonus on a Helix, it'll get that bonus for lands on this gate card. Seen it before. Um, and yo, look at Winton. Winton Lightning and Lee are running from Slugworth. It's hilarious. Yo, look at those minuses. Very bad for Arlis, Ventus, and Pyrus, but good for Aquas, Chaos, and Darkus, and Fist Bonus with that. So, yeah, man. Now we got to get into the cores. So, let's see. I'm hoping with this we see some Arlis ones, damn it. Plus 100, Aquas, Ventus, plus 3. We got to see it for Arlis. Uh, minus 400. You know, I'm, I'm hoping we get some, like, regular Ar Arlis ones, but... Yeah, like some Arliss uh, cores for them because they're definitely behind. But minus 400, nice trap. Plus 500, minus 1, very nice helix. Uh, plus 600, really good magic shield. 650 being the best. Minus 300, minus 1, nice trap core right there. And then uh, Aquas and Dark is getting plus 400 with that one. So yeah, just hoping to see some new co uh, cores for Arliss. But yeah, man, so I guess getting into it first, why not? We'll get into uh, Drago. 
Aquas Drago, uh, Aquas Dragonoid Ultra. So yeah, Aquas Ultra Drago, I'm guessing they're gonna call it, you know, just flipping it like how they've been for the for these seasons. But awesome seeing like the second season mold for it, the Arm of the Lions mold. Drago had a really sick mold then. But yeah, having all of this blue, like this is like a dark blue they're using for this, like a dark deep, like a dark deep sea blue. And then the orange for the mouth as well as the horn and you know the eyebrows, sky blue for the eyes, and then also on the wings, which I used a lot of paint for that. It looks really, really sick. Aqua Strike and symbol and also like a little bit of elemental symbol with that. And uh yeah, then the orange right there on the tail. Looking really, really dope, dude. But B power of 700. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, if it has a shield, then it could break a thousand, but, uh, yeah, man, let's see if I can get it all closed up, close those wings, uh, if I can wrap it around, bring it around town, head in, uh, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, the main thing being the wing, just being a pain, there we go, boom, and, I don't know what the foot, there we go, foot fit in right there, and then the back part, so there's Aquas, Ultra Drago or Aquas Drago Ultra in the closed ball form. Looking really, really sick, man. I'm liking the colors for Evolutions. They're popping big time. Like a darker blue for the Aquas and such. But yeah, I guess next up we'll get into Talon. So then it looks really, really dope with all the lime green that they use for this thing, man. Looking so dope. Got uh, lime green on the back. More of like a regular kind of uh, forest green. Like a mossy green uh, for all the plastic. A little bit of transparent plastic with the tail. And yeah, man, looking really sick. B power is 600 with uh, Talon. All right. Um, I'm not sure if it's got like new stats compared to like the past. If it has LE for the card, then we'll know. But yeah, if not, then it's just the old Talon with like, you know, just like a reprint of it. But yeah, lime green right there on the actual Talons itself. Uh, they're more of a yellow and looking really dope. So then the way to close it up, you already know with Talon. Bop, bop bottom part in wrap that tail all the way around if i can get the head in and let's see i just gotta bring the head around bring it around town bring it around town there we go then click that in and there it is man ventus talent in a closed ball form looking really really dope um close rectangular form i suppose <laughs> but yeah and then uh i guess we'll get into the baku gear gotta show it off uh you know the, the big time cannon I forgot the actual name for this Baku gear, but um, yeah, I got the same blue as Drago and the same kind of paint job and such. Aquas Faction symbol right there. Loving the transparent plastic they use, like the clear with the orange uh, paint. Looks really dope. And the folded up, just, yeah, like a little snake. Uh, But yeah, man, there is the Baku gear all closed up. Other two attachments, which use the same like paint and also clear plastic. Looking really, really dope, man. I'm liking the colors. All right, next up, we've got Auxilitar here. Uh, look at the darkest color like they're using yo they're using more of like uh like a pink like a light pink with darkest this time around wish they would have filled in the details for the wings that would have been really sick that's one thing they uh kind of did with the older mold of oxillator it would have been amazing if they would have filled that in but you know have a little bit of details right there got some on the horn got some like light blue in the mouth um a little bit of the darkest symbol in the front and then also on the wing and the B power for this thing being, does that say 900? Oh, hell yeah, that says 900. Y'all, Yo, you're going to be strong. All right. Just the angle of it. It looks like triple zeros, doesn't it? But yeah, it's 900. But that's dope, man. I'm glad they brought Auxilitar back. Like, are we going to see it in the show? Hype, man, because I really like the design of it. But there is Darkest Auxilitar in the closed ball form looking really, really dope. Not too much paint with it. Wish they would have used a bit more paint, but... Yeah, still, Auxilitar is a really, really sick mold and all that black. And last but not least, we got Nova Pegatrix up in here. Ventus Nova Pegatrix looking like an absolute beast, looking so, so awesome, man. Having all that uh, kind of transparent emerald kind of green plastic, just, just the transparency with it, looking so, so dope, man. Loving that green they used for it. And then the lime green for the wings, um, a lot of lime green on the wings, honestly. And then, of course, like... It's like it's up on, it's like back who's and it's got his front who's in the air, you know. But overall looking really, really dope. B power being 500. So, yeah, with these cores, hopefully uh, they got some pretty good stats with them, like all of the Geogon and Bakugan in here. But, uh, yeah, dude. So, before closing it up, got to bop. 
and show off the light. And yo, that green looks so, so sick. I love the Nova Bakugan. I love the light up Bakugan in a major way. Just that they're using older gimmicks and we're seeing some of them come back is so, so awesome. Now the Nova Bakugan, like how we have the full metal Bakugan, I'd love to see like some of the Baku Cyclone type of gimmicks, Baku Tremor gimmicks, you know, where they're wind up toys. Like gimmicks like that, man, they still have potential. So much potential for more. But uh, yeah, so let's see. Boom, those in. Wait, are those, oh, they gotta go all the way, all the way back and then bop there we go and those in and then the wings and i think we got it yeah there we go so there's ventus nova pegatrix in the clothes ball form looking really really sick man looking like an emerald uh loving that transparent green plastic the lime green uh paint on the outside ventus faction symbol right there looking really dope so now we gotta get into um all the cards and yo all right so they actually do put the name of uh it in here i'm just switching around all the all the cards and such, put them in a good order. But yeah, so they actually have an Aquas Cannon card here. Bruh, what? Aquas Cannon. And they put, dude, this actually has an individual card, like LE. And it's RA, like LE. Did they have it planned? This, dude, that's big. That Did that mean they had it planned for like more waves of Lightseekers of the Geo Gun and the GG sets? Oh, it's a bit mess, I'm telling y'all. If you put, out, you put out the cards big time, we will buy these. We will get these a lot. A lot. Aqua's Cannon. Literally a Baku gear that adds, if you land on a Helix plus 300, there are Baku gears that add based on the core with this season. That's so cool, man. Like, come on. You got to drop the card, Speedmaster. Like, you, you should. You gotta, you're gotta. you wasting your serious... You're seriously wasting some serious potential if you don't drop the cards, like, big time. Like, I would love to get this and use it, like, big time. That's awesome. And a Helix deck, that would be sick. And then Talon's up in here. What the hell? One cost, 602. Helix plus 900. You freaking what, mate? You're getting up to 2100. 2100 and zeroing out, or 2001. That's insane. On turn one. My God. That, yeah, you talk about power. You got some power, but keeping it in check because not much damage with it. Literally one damage with all that power. Yeah, but this talent, bro, this is why you need to put three copies of the card. I would use this immediately. E freak immediately. But there's only one card, so I get up to hold off on it for like deck building and such. Auxilitar, 903, Magic Shield, and Regular Shield. Dude, it's getting up to 15, 50, and 3. Holy crap, Auxilitar, you are not playing, man. Yeah, I, I love it. Bring back some older molds like Truncanius and Webum and Gorin and even some Season 1 Bakugan and give them some updated stats to where they can hang, man, because I'd love to see that. Like, this Auxilitar can hang. 15, 50, and 3. Serious power break in 1,000. Still having a bit of damage with it. And that artwork looking damn dope. Oh, my God, dude. Like, the potential's there. There's even more potential. That's the crazy thing to say it. But, uh, Aquas Ultra Dragonoid. I think Ultra Drago. B power 700 damage or 2, but guys... Helix, what that means, that's a Baku gear. So that means if you land on a Helix, you could add a fucking Baku gear to this. Like any in general. As far as I'm as far as I know, that's what that means, man. That's a Baku gear symbol right there. I'm pretty sure that means you land on a Helix, you could add whatever Baku gear from your hand to it. Which that's wild, if so. If so, if that that's wow. Good God. Good God Almighty. If that's the case right there, that's insane. That's wild, because there's some powerful Baku Gears, man. You got the right one in your hand. My God. Dude, that's crazy. If so, that's the case. But 1,300 and zeroing out, or uh, 1,200 and one. Yeah, that's... That, damn, I'm shook. Uh, Nova Packetrix. Not playing any games either, dude. Land on a Helix plus 600. Wow. Magic Shield and Helix. But land on a magic shield, you add a core, helix plus 600. So you're getting up to 1,702 or 1,604. My God. Yep. Powerful. Nova Packet Tricks putting in that work. Or a magic shield, you can add a core, which still, that would put it up to like 1,800. 1,805 with a magic shield. Because if you add a magic shield with that from the adding core and you land on that plus the 500, oh my God. Yeah, 1,150 plus 650. Yeah, it's 1,800. 1,805. Yup. Yup. Powerful girl, powerful girl. Enough said. And awesome artwork. They're all they're all usable. They're all strong. Let's tell I'm telling y'all, Spin Master. You include the Baku gear and like the the Geogon with these. Please put in a full play set of three because I would use these straight out of the gate. Like out of this pack, I'd be like, yep. When's the next opportunity I could use them? Uh, but just having one copy of them, it makes it difficult. So yeah. But anyways, 
let's get into the opening action for all of them, man. So, uh, da 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 da, Talon. Bop. And yo, just, yeah, I opened it the other way, but still, the opening action, like the wings shooting up, uh, the body shooting up, the wings shooting out. Just so, so sick, man. All right. And then we've got Auxilitar. Boom. Can you get two cores? You try to. If you're careful, you can. All right. And then we've got uh, Drago up in here. Drago Ultra with that opening action looking so dope. The old flippy flip. And then we got the uh, the cannon up in here. I think it goes this way. And bop. Yup. So sick. Like I said, you don't have to feature the Baku gear. You can if you want to, like, in your profile. But, yeah, it's like the same thing with Nano Gun. I just like to use the Nano Gun. I don't feature, like, the Baku gear in there too, too much. But, yeah, maybe maybe I might go back and do so. Or for future profiles, maybe I will. But, yeah, man, look at Drago. Looking so sick with that Baku gear. Looking amazing. And then we got Pegatrix up in here. Nova Pegatrix. Hey, in that light. All the green with it. I love how diverse these packs are, man. You literally get a core Bakugan, you get an Ultra, you get a Geogon, and you get a Nova Bakugan. It also features the Baku gear. You talk about the spectrum of everything, almost everything except for the fusions, and even getting more fusions with the season. Yeah, the, the, the season's a melting pot. They're continuing the melting pot that was Evolutions while incorporating and implementing new uh, gimmicks and such. You know, that being like the metal. But also making it a true melting pot of diversity and such with it as well like with this season they're including the nova bakugan but still using the melting pot type of thing like you got everything with this besides fusions and that's wild dude hopefully they go back and use some season one bakugan like some of those modes and such because i'd love to see that like how they're going back and using older modes do some season one bakugan like truncaneous etc etc like some season one designs are really really dope and it would be awesome to see like updated stats for them but yeah, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this review of this absolutely epic Bakugan Legends Legends Collection Pack featuring uh, Darkest Auxilitor, Aquas Ultra Dragonoid, uh, Ventus Talon, as well as Ventus Nova Pegatrix. So, so sick, dude. But hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified when I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. I had to burp. It's fine. But yeah, till then, stay awesome. And Bakugan, bro, I'm up out of here. I'm so hyped for Legends, man. I'm excited for the show. I'm excited for the Bakugan. I'm excited for everything. Don't spin match. You just put out the damn cards. We want cards so bad.